Uh, it was a wonderful experience actually for me to have um, a completely different kind of retreat. And um, yes, teaching this collaging technique, which I feel is a really great um, springboard for people. So uh, it was my first retreat with Delphi with me. So that was an experiment and Delphi did fabulously. Um, she liked all the people and she got snacks from lunch and she was she was she was really good. So that was a little bit of an experiment for me. So um, I stepped out into some new territory this uh, last few days. And I have to say I am tired uh, from from it. But um, there was some consciousness expansion happened for me over the last few days. And uh, so I'm very grateful for that. I'm sure I will be processing it for a few days. So um, let's see what Jesus has to say. I was like, I've forgotten one. <laughs> forgotten what, one. what am I supposed to do? Like, what? Let's get our paintbrushes out. No, that's not what we're meant to do. <laughs> What's my I was going to hand it back to you. And then I'm like, no, that's not what we do. Hang on. Okay. Give me a moment. <laughs> You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus. And we would like you to know this, that this was a, indeed a big challenge for our dear one. Uh, she has challenged herself her entire life. Uh, once she gets used to doing something, there is an aspect of her that says, okay, mastered that, Let what's next? Where next? And this, of course, is one of the reasons we chose her to do this work, because it is always going to be expanding. It is there is always going to be an opportunity to connect with new people in different locations through different mediums. And we knew that this being would do that. So when she was younger, some of these personality traits, uh, constantly wanting new horizons, were problematic. Uh, but what we want you to know is this, is once you find the niche that is your purpose, your personality will be perfect for it. So if some of you find yourselves not suited to office work, or some of you find yourselves not suited to an aspect of your life, uh, and you feel that you'd like to change it, we want you to know this, there is a perfect spot for you on this planet doing certain things. And where are those things hidden? Where are those perfect places hidden? In your blueprint. They are hidden in your blueprint and you will have the feeling to go there, whether it's to go to Hawaii or whether it's go to, to go to London, England, whether it's to go back to school, whatever it is, your purpose, the thing that you came here to do is not hidden from you. It is often drowned out by your conditioning programs. So there is this feeling, oh, I haven't found my thing yet. Well, the thing that is uh, your thing is within you. And this is one of the reasons why a practice such as A Course in Miracles is so important because it gets you focusing on the interior. And once you are focused on the interior and you are seeing the world correctly, which is what? it's an effect rather than a cause, then you stop looking at the world for the solution and you go inside and ask, what is it that's going on in here? What am I drawn to? What do I love? What do excites, what excites me? What can't I stop thinking about? These are the things that are the steps on the pathway towards your purpose. So what our dear one has done in the last few days is she has integrated an aspect of her quote unquote private life uh, into this community. And she has painted uh, for tens of thousands of hours. It's not a new thing, but she has not integrated it into this aspect of her life. And so there were some steep learning curves for her this uh, last few days. There were some things to learn. There were some things to come to understand. There were some logistical things. How many hours in the day is it possible for her to speak uh, and create and help other people? All of these sorts of things. So we are taking our hats off to our dear one today for trying something new, for pushing her boundaries. And what will happen over time now <clears throat> is that there will be 
uh, opportunities that come her way, uh, people, places, things, and experiences will come her way because she has expanded. And this is the thing that we would like to remind you of today, that if there's something you want to do, if there's something you're interested in, if there's something that is um, nipping at your heels, as we say, understand that that is your guidance system speaking to you from your blueprint. And even if you end up, we'll say, dissolving an idol, because that's often what will happen when you have a desire, uh, you may want to move to uh, Mexico or something like that. Um, if you do that and you find out it's not the fantasy that you thought it was, you've crossed it off the list. It's good. It's part of your um, relinquishment process. The letting go of the idols that you thought would make you happy. And then what will happen over time is that you will have eliminated idols and you will be left with your passion which will become your purpose it could be people it could be traveling it could be leading teaching uh, opportunities it could be studying yourself it could be anything understand that it, it is within you your purpose is within you residing within you right now the question is are you going to go inside and look for it are you going to read the clues and act upon the clues that it is giving you? That is the end of our intro today, and we are now ready for your questions. <laughs>